when you are entering in this place, which is full of image on the floor, on the walls, um, you're not only entering um, just painting of Van Gogh, you're entering in the last two years of Van Gogh, where he was in Provence, in South of France, and you're discovering for me, which is the most important painting he made in this place. And I would say that um, it's another way to discover his paintings, you know? It's not only going to a museum, it's entering by a kind of uh, feeling intelligence into, uh, into really, into his painting. More than 200 of Vincent van Gogh's art pieces are on display on large screens in Boston. Annabelle Muji is the creator of the immersive exhibit. When you're going into a museum, you always have distance with the painting. You can't touch it. Uh, you need to be silent. In fact, you need to not bother the person who are just next to you. In an immersive exhibition, it's totally not the same experience. I see so many, I saw, excuse me, so many children um, jumping <laughs> into this place, running, you know, uh, preparing this exhibition in Boston. I had my two girls with me because they came and uh, they were just playing and running everywhere. And I think that's very important. You know, it's a family place. What do you think it is about Vincent van Gogh's work um, that really resonates with people across the globe? You know, sometimes uh, people are making shortcuts saying he was mad. I don't think he was mad. I think he was disappointed. He was uh, depressed, you know. And I think that's important, you know, because we don't, um, the people don't say most of the time those kind of things. But when you look at his paintings, when you look at his brushstrokes, which in the immersive way are so straight, um, a bit of violence sometimes and in those exhibitions when you take a bit of distance I mean when you just turn your head <laughs> you will see the same painting but far away from you then you will see that those paintings are curved and soft and sweet and I think those part of his personality which we all have inside us um, probably help people being kind of uh, next to him, you know, not that far away. And I'm sure that's part of why they love it. The other reason, I think, is that it could be so romantic. Viewers will learn more about Van Gogh's life and a bit about the technology used in the exhibit called Image Total. If Vincent Van Gogh could experience this exhibit, what do you think he would say about it? I really don't know. <laughs> Have you thought about that? Does that, you know, keep you up at night? Sometimes, yeah, sometimes. What I would like um, is them to discover that um, we can show this art in another way. And they didn't have time to see it, of course, because this is new technology. But if it can bring young generation in front of this heart, I think that's important, in fact. I don't know how it, how it is in North America, but, you know, in Europe and particularly in France, this young generation is not going to the museum, but they want to go to immersive exhibition. So if it helps them to come back to this art, you know, you need, we need to use any manners to make them back. And because I think it's important to have that in your life. When people walk away, what do you hope that they have learned about Van Gogh or about art? I hope that they will change even their eyes about painter and about art, you know. Art is, is made by people like you and me. Perhaps people which are sometimes a bit more of a, uh, sensitivity perhaps are um, you know we're all made to do something <laughs> and there are people who can make heart and I admire them <laughs> of course and everybody well, most of people admire them but it's important to to see that in fact there is not such difference between them and us